So along with a permanent seat at the WPT Tournament of Champions, you also won some incredible prizes, such as Monster Headphones, the Uvalo Watch, and of course, the coveted WPT Championship Belt, which you can only win at Montreal. How does it feel to win such a unique prize? Well, winning is just so wonderful. And besides all the goodies that it brought me, you know, as you mentioned, the Hublot watch, the Monster Headphones, the name on the Champions Cup, and in Montreal, the Playground Poker is the only location on tour that they give away a championship belt. It's a beautiful belt, better than any UFC belt, better than any boxing belt, and it's for poker, and I happen to win it. Now, my son, Ty, who's eight years old, you know, saw a picture of that belt. Dad, Dad, can you get that for me? So I said, son, I'm going to try. So I've won the belt. It's going to my son, Ty. I'm just thrilled about it. I don't think the poker community could have asked for a better or more well-deserved win than for you, Mike. Um, you know, you've watched poker evolve so much over the years of your career. How has the game and the industry changed? Well, thanks to the World Poker Tour, it's changed a lot. Before the WPT was even around, you couldn't find a no-limit hold'em game in any casino anywhere in the world. And now it's the prevalent game that's played everywhere. And the World Poker Tour, because of television, you know, has really changed the dynamics of the poker world forever. I'm proud to be a part of that, and, you know, it's exciting. In terms of the players, what it's done is brought so many more young, really smart kids into poker, to be honest with you. Very bright, college-educated kids are now coming into the poker world. Uh, they like it. They catch on fast. They understand the power of aggression, accumulating chips, what it means and how much it means. And for me, I've recognized and changed my game a bit to become more aggressive. It used to be all about survival in tournament poker. Survive, 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 and then hopefully you catch some cards late, you know, and get lucky to win. And, you know, I still did it to agree, but I understand how important it is early on to get some chips. And when you get to that final table to have the chip lead, I was very fortunate that I had the chip lead going to the final table, and it obviously paid dividends for me. Absolutely. It was a really exciting final table. Any special moments in that particular I think kind of your all-ins were really the 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 magic or the magic words. yeah there was really some special times I mean he started out with a chip lead Benny Chen phenomenal player this guy I played with him the day before all day and I said even in my interview prior to the final table you know this is going to be the guy that's the force to be reckoned with here at this table and he was and now I got heads up he had the chip lead he mowed me down to about nothing right away you know and I said whoa how embarrassing is this I'm gonna go out like a shot Fortunately, we took a break at that time. I got to walk around, come back, and regroup a little bit, and I got some chips back and then went back down again. Finally came back. I believe the only time I had the chip lead in that entire final table was like the last hand prior to him going all in where I had him covered. I had the two queens, and they stood up, and I won the tournament. But most all the time at that final table, he had the chip lead. It wasn't me, but uh, fortunately, I came back and took the title and uh, and very just over the moon about it. For dynamic online poker, head to Play WPT. It's fun, it's free, it's playtime.